Good evening everybody. Um, welcome to my very small table for Steam Toys World Wide Web 2021. Uh, my theme this year is engines I haven't steamed yet. So these are items that are very nice that I've picked up um, and just haven't got around to steaming because I've just been too busy. So the first engine uh, is well, it's a small horizontal engine manufactured by a gentleman called Tony Wright who has uh, he's made quite a lot of engines in the past and sold these sort of under the um, brand of Puff, Puff and Go but he also uses that as a nickname um, and uh, they're usually pretty simple uh, quite robust he has done some classy work and this is really uh, this is really a very, very small engine so it's this is a few, uh, standard hexamine fuel tablet and you can see it, 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 the, uh, the flywheel is a lot smaller than that, it really is a tiny little thing. Now the next one up is uh, a Kleiner, Kleiner Meyer model bow SD02. So this was made to special order by me by Andreas Kleiner Meyer who is an absolute wizard. Um, it's a very well engineered product. Uh, this one's special, it has a couple of extra drains uh, and I'll be using those for a sight glass in, in uh, due order. Um, they are uh, metric threaded, so uh, not so easy to get hold of a metric threaded sight glass uh, post Brexit. Just a little bit expensive. Now I'll be running this uh, using Sterno. Uh, and the proper KMV um, sterno trough, uh, which is an option. The the standard standard uh, tablets work just fine. They're a bit, a bit smelly, and I just want to fancy trying the uh, trying alcohol gel for a change today. Mainly because I'll probably be running several different engines all at once. Uh, the next one is a Mamad. This is uh, a pre-1953, but it's heavily restored, so it has uh, a very thin a uh, crank axle. It has a very pretty, pretty crank, uh, and the uh, a flat bit on the on the piston rod. Um, it's been painted over here, so so uh, it's heavily restored. But it has that kind of flywheel. So that's normally associated with post 53. So, um, so yeah, so a little bit of a bitter, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the older sort. Uh, the next one along is uh, one of the, another very beautifully engineered items. Uh, this is an MF Steam MF Twin. Uh, this is number 11 of only 100. That, uh, 100 have not yet been made yet. They, uh, th there's still a few for sale. And these are engineered by Mr. Ian Grantham, who does a really good job. He actually started in something like 2008. Um, uh, and uh, as I said, there's still a couple left. Very, very highly recommended by people, so I'm really looking forward to how well this goes. This particular item uh, was... Uh, purchased by a gentleman in the USA and uh, I purchased it back from him so it sort of spent between uh, we think I think 2010 but it could originally have been an original 2008 uh, manufacturer I went to the US and I purchased it back early 2021 so it's a very very highly traveled engine so that's, that's, that's a good few thousand miles over there and back again uh, right, I'm going to top these up, oil them up, and uh, see if I can get any going. It works. A little bit of drama, probably a little bit overfilled. Uh, it's just produced a bit of a lake, but uh, it's spinning along like a gun. Um, what more could you ask for? There's a nice little demonstration of what a steam engine should do. See if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that looks to be in fact in focus. 
There you go, tiny, tiny little thing. Um, that's, the, that's my Meccano screw, screwdriver, so really small, look, small engine. Um, the flywheel is running in a puddle. So if I remove the puddle, let's see if it runs a little bit better. Well, not a lot, seems happy. Well, the heat's uh, the heat's showing up a little bit on the on the stainless, but again, it's indestructible, so it's not really a problem. Right, I think I'm going to call it a day on that one. Let's see what the half uh, There you go, only a little bit of fuel left. Probably should have left that going, but never mind. Well, that'll take a few minutes to come out to pressure. Uh, the Mehmed I've already lit and it's smoking quite well. There's actually a lot. I'm not sure if we can see any smoke. I'm using a replacement meth burner there with a, quite a small capacity and what I'm hoping is it'll be enough to get this working um, and uh, get a couple of minutes for you and that'll probably do. Now I can hear some sort of spitting going on down there. Uh, let's let's drop to table level and zoom in. Yeah, it's, it's burning away quite nicely. There's a lot of radiant heat there. I can see. I can see quite a lot of glow coming off. So that's that's quite a that's a hot burner. That's impressive. I'm not sure how much we're going to see in here. Yeah, you can see nice blue. Nice blue flame. That's working quite well. Right, let's give it a couple of minutes to come up to uh, come up to heat and pressure. There you go. That's not a problem at all. And you'll notice it's walking around. That's a really common thing with MM2s. Um, they're really powerful, and they vibrate a little bit because they're not perfectly balanced and they go for a walk I and mean, that was really quick that didn't take long to come up at all I can hear some popping. I think I think there's water dripping from the engine and the safety valve down into the meth spire and then 
sort of uh, exploding. Try and contain the contain the spray of oil. Because I'm not 100% sure how much how much water will be in there, I'm going to pull that out. Right, there's no no fuel in there. We'll just see how much steam it's stored up. Golly, what a mess! Uh, so there's there's oil and water everywhere. That was enormous fun. Um, uh, this isn't quite up to up to heat yet. I can hear a bit of crackling. I'll give that a couple. Well, give that as long as it takes, and then I'll start up again. Uh, just going to point out some features. Tiny little hex scrub screw there, nice and tight, really neat. Um, This is uh, this is a very beautiful little valve that KMV do uh, with a nice little handle. Uh, that you can have you can have Walesco valves if you want, uh, but I think these are far prettier uh, and they work just fine. They were actually excellent. Uh, all of these things are beautifully finished, really really accurate, um, and. Uh, nice little SP as well. The chimney which I'll make a point of not touching um, is easy pops off and they do different types for that as well so that's pretty cool. Um, got a few weeks so I could probably tighten it a bit tighter. Um, right I'm going to stop recording and then start again in a minute when it's working. But the KMV also wants to go for a little bit of a waltz, maybe not quite so vigorously. Um, but it's definitely on the move. Now because of the strobe effect, uh, it's, I reckon it's going about twice as fast as what it looks like it's doing. Possibly a bit quicker because what I'm probably seeing is a bit of a strobe effect off the fluorescent lights as well. Um, so it's a bit difficult to see. We're a good halfway, three quarters of the way down the fuel. So that's not quite so impressive. But it was very cold water so... You know, I shouldn't shouldn't worry too much about that. I should think it works better with um, better with nice nice hot water and um, with the with the boiler nicely pre warmed. Um, looking at the speed, I think I think that's just excellent for demonstration. It's just ticking over nicely. Um, I've no real idea about how much energy it can generate. I know these mo these engines can run 
um, almost 10 small accessories so, so they have enough uh, you can look at my other video for that um, oh that is that is beautifully smooth absolutely love it rocking a little bit more than maybe it should because it's not on a flat surface this baking tray is um, you know, I, can, I can make it wobble quite a lot just by poking it it's not rocking because um, it's loose and terribly that it's out of balance it, it's just it's just rocking right, let's, uh, let's move it to a flatter place see if it stops Yeah, cool. Now that is a very, very smooth steam engine. That's for an oscillator, that is just wonderful. These are these are still readily available, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, you have to order them from Germany, and then when they come over, you have to pay extra tax. But um, that's just the way it is, really. There you go. I've got it to stay still and stop wobbling. Well, I better keep this short because there's a lot of uh, Steam Toys World Wide Web to look at. Uh, so the next uh, the next engine, is the MF Twin. I have uh, it's a single wick on this, and I'm not going to be able to see. Yeah, it's running running a bit fierce because the the wick's a little too long. There should be there should be a bang in this. Oh, let's get the right engine. There should be a bang in, in this hole. So you can see the hole. Just about see the hole there. Um, but it's well away from the flame and I'm on a metal tray, so I've got a certain amount of control here. I think it's gonna take a while before that comes up uh, to heat. Um, yeah, it's, it's 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 getting warm. But it's uh, you know, even if I can get anywhere near it, it's um, you know, it's not quite there. So there you go. We've got a bit of bit of movement. Oh, shouldn't swear, should I? Right. I think I've got a bit of lock there. I'm going to have to get brutal with this. Safety gloves. Well, this is also beautifully smooth, and I've just realised I've still got the fan on. So let's turn the fan off. You can hear that lovely purr. That's, you can really tell the difference between the high class and the uh, more crudely made engines 
uh, while that was coming up this has raised another head of steam uh, because the, the fuel is so deep and you can, there's a little bit more of a knock on there that's 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 uh, well it's only got one cylinder but it's a lot louder than that one so Ooh, crazy money and takes your choice. I think uh, I think I'm a happy man to have two. A single whip, this thing is spitting out of its safety valve, and the water's spitting on the heat underneath. It's uh, obviously one whip is actually quite enough, certainly for demonstration, just purring along. A and B seems to have uh, no, not quite. We've got a tiny bit left in there. There we go. Still, still burning. I think that's that's that's. I think that's had it. I could uh, blow it out while you watch this. See if you can see the exhaust. Yeah, it sort of picks out. So. Get against that. And puffs, of, puffs of steam, not very easy to see on, on video. Still going like the clappers, safety valve still blowing off. Well that is an awesome piece of engineering. It's amazing to think that it's actually based on something that was pre-World War II. Um, it's effectively a replica. Obviously the, the quality is very, very high. Um, I'm gonna take, take that away. That's the size of the flame, it's quite vigorous. There we go. Fantastic. Thanks for watching.